hi guys and welcome back to my channel again this is jerry from tech evangelist if you are just joining this channel for the first time if you stumble on this channel i want to say welcome to you because you are exactly in the right place where you are supposed to be and if you are a returning subscriber i want to say thank you very much for subscribing you've got this channel this far and i want to say you are highly appreciated and of course those of you that have not subscribed we look at the metrics of this channel and we see that quite a number of you are watching these videos but are not subscribing so please subscribe as you can see from the title of this video this is local agi coming to you right at your doorstep so how do we get local agi recently there's been talks about agi agi from openai and the models O1 and O3 have been these AGI models. These models, O1, the OpenAI O1, is arguably one of the best models out there for any task that you want to do. And it's rumored that this is the start of AGI. OpenAI O3. Uh, I don't want this but the OpenAI website itself. No way, OpenAI is not talking about it. They don't even have a blog on O3. That's very surprising. That is shocking. That is very shocking. If you are not sleeping under the rock, if you are still on this planet Earth, then you must have heard about OpenAI O1 and O3. And this is the blog page that talks about everything on O1 and O3. O3 mini and all that. But then there are rumors that ChatGPT 5 is coming very soon and it's the start of AGI and all that and all that. These models O1 and O3 are the thinking models. Although OpenAI does not allow us to see through the process of the thinking, they only just give us the final output. But now there is an open source model that gives us the weight open weights for us to see exactly what is inside the model, how the model thinks. And that model is called DeepSeek R1. DeepSeek R1 is the name of the model. And here are the benchmarks for the AIM3, AIME dataset, the code forces, and it beats, it beats OpenAI. Look at that. It beats OpenAI most of the time. This is 79, 79.2, 79.8. Uh, here is 76, 76.6. Okay, OpenAI 01 slightly beats it in this one. It also slightly beats it here, but the DeepSeek beats it hands down. Maybe not hands down, <laughs> but it beats it here as well. OpenAI beats it here and beats it. Uh, it beats OpenAI here. Okay, so. I mean, don't take these benchmarks, um, take it with a grain of salt because, we, I mean, we don't know how these benchmarks are put together. But yeah, let's test out the model and let's see how the model really behaves, if it really thinks, if it's really good. Now, in order to see the biggest model of all the variants, the biggest one is 671B, billion parameters. Can you imagine that? That's, can you just imagine that? 671 billion parameters the biggest model today open source model we have is still llama 3.2 let's look at that llama 3.2 it's the 405 billion parameters model uh is it 3.1 or 3.2 okay 3.1 4 4 or 5 billion parameters model that's the biggest one till now till this deep seek came out some days ago uh this is already a few days ago updated two days ago okay so two days ago that's when it came out in order to use this i mean this is quantized version of that you know this is even not the the full version this is the quantized version and if you run this command of course to be able to use olama you need to you need to download olama to your system if you run Olama on your system successfully, you should be able to do like this, Olama LS. If you do Olama LS, you should get all the models that have been installed 
on your machine and this is these are the models for me that have been installed as you can see i've installed the deepseek r1 and all you need to do is after downloading this and installing it first to check if olama is running you can do localhost 11434 and you get the message olama is running which is very good so the next thing is to run that model so again we copy this command we just just as it is there are variants of it if you want the 8 bit billion parameters you select that and copy this if you want the the 70 billion parameters you copy that but let me just be very clear a 16 gig ram system like if you have your a system with a 16 gig ram you would definitely not be able to run anything from 70 32 and 671 billion parameters model you can only run 14b 8b 7b and 1.5b but if you have more than 16 gig of ram then you can run 32 in billion parameter depending on your ram size if it's not up to 32 then you cannot run it so in this case my machine is 16 gig of ram so i'm going to run the default one which is yeah the latest one just like so so i'll just copy that and once i put that in there like so it will start to download this model and once it's downloaded that's all you need so if you're successful in doing that the next thing is to try out the model and the way i'm going to try out the model is using this open source software called open web ui so open web ui you go to the i'm going to make a separate video on open web ui later but in order to use it you come to the repo you clone it and if you have docker you install with docker if you do not have docker then you can run in a different way which is using pip because it's a python library so you can run using pip and then open web serve and it will be served at this port in my case i have it running and it's running on docker and i have it on 3000 so let's go to 3000 i have it running so it's there and all i need to do now is to select that model called deep seek it's deep seek r1 latest and that's it and now let us test out the thinking ability of this model so i have a question let's say i have a prompt like this i i have i have a way to make nigerian jollof rice i prefer to start with blending the tomatoes and frying it some some other people prefer to smoke the pepper and tomatoes before using what do you think that's a very funny question what do you think so I'm, i want it to think and it will go into action as you see it's thinking and we can look at the thinking process this is good so it says so i have this question about making nigerian jollof rice the user says they have a method where they blend the tomatoes first and they fry them but others prefer smoking the peppers and tomatoes before they this is really interesting it says hmm i love this kind of stuff it says i need to figure out which method is better or if there's an advantage this is this is good this is this is how i expect a human being to think if i pose to them this question exactly how i want them to think how i want them to relate to the question how i want them to give it to me back it says the process usually involves cooking the meat the chicken the sauce which is correct the user's method and mind you i am running this locally there's no need for internet connection whatsoever as you can see it's running on localhost so this is totally on your system 
you don't need to send your data to anybody to any third party app you're totally secured and this is fine so let's see what it does let's see what it does on a system with a larger ram this generation output would definitely be faster but it's okay even at this speed i think it's about uh 10 tokens per second if i'm not mistaken which is okay which is okay definitely why that is generating if you want to use the largest of the variant that's the 671 billion parameters you can go to chat.deepseek.com chat.deepseek.com is the official chat page for these models and you will be able definitely to run um, the largest model because this platform actually implements the largest so i'm going to put the same prompt here and now you can see the, the generation is definitely faster because this is an online platform they have gpus that are better than my local system but you see it says the same so first the user is trying to make blah 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 i first need to recall what i know about the nigeria jollof rice which i remember well, from what i remember it's a popular western which is good which is good and it comes up with the result so it finishes it finishes the thinking process it says it thought for 16 seconds and we can see through all the things when it comes to nigerian jollof rice both methods you mentioned blending and fry uh, yes a breakdown of how you decide it gives you the pros and then the results it gives you another method the smoking the peppers and it gives you the pros and the result and then makes a recommendation it says combine both technique for the, the blah 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 with final thoughts your method is classic and reliable and really is really good and let's see what this one says conclusion both methods are valid depending on your personal preference you see and this was completely on my machine it ran for it thought out the process for 112 seconds this one thought out the process for 16 seconds i mean you can tell the difference between local machine and an online platform so try this model out definitely you can do so much more with this model this is just a brief brief overview of the deep seek r1 that's been released recently i think agi is here already grab it right now so that even when you don't have internet connection you can still have access to a model that thinks if you want any other videos like this if there's any question you have please drop them in the comment section if you want me to make any kind of videos around this please also drop them in the comment section and i will pick up your feedback hopefully i make a video about it and until the next time when i see you always keep learning